Hi, Cassandra. My name is... Clark Kent. Yeah, how'd you know that? Intuition. Okay. You know, a friend of mine told me... told me you could see the future. If your friend wants his future told, tell him to go to the circus. <laughs> gotcha. Mr. Bolston, it's Lana Lang. Lang, huh? The Langs moved to Smallville in 1938. Took over one of those dust mold farms. You know, knew the value of a bargain. You're a local history buff. Well, you might say it's my obsession. Say. Are you my next victim? You don't look that scary to me. Ah, uh, you should have known me in my younger days. I'm sure you were quite a heartbreaker. How about we take a spin around the grounds and you can tell me what the Langs have been up to since 1938. Sure. It's so beautiful. I wonder why more people don't come out here. Ah, oh, they're too busy watching television. Say, uh, would you mind going back to the room grabbing a scarf? Uh, I don't want to get cold. Sure. Oh, honey, you're a doll. <laughs> Someone very close to you is going to die very soon. Fate's given you a second chance, Harry boy. And this time, they're gonna pay. God, I haven't been able to have one of these in years. Well, not since the bypass. <laughs> Where can I get you a drink? Uh, do you guys have coffee? You know, from beans? Yeah, it's 275. What, do they carry here from South America by foot? <laughs> you sound like my grandpa. Just make sure to tie. Yeah, whatever. Is something bothering you, Clark? I met this one blind lady at the retirement center. Mm -hmm. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I think she can see the future. What did she tell you? <laughs> she told me somebody close to me was gonna die. Soon. Oh, listen, man, you can't just let some some old lady scare you with some half-baked prediction. I mean, she, she probably just does it to scare the nurses anyway. No one can tell the future. What if she can? What if she told me because she knew there was something I can do about it? Well, then she should have given you a little more information, like name, time, and place. <sighs> Look, even if she can't predict the future, there's nothing she can do to control it. Nobody can. Clark, what are you doing here so late? I, uh, came to see Cassandra. She's still awake. Why, is everything okay? I met with the administrator today yeah. to tell him what I knew about Harry. The police were there. Well, yeah, it's not unusual to a missing person's case. That's not the reason. Harry Bolston's real name is Harry Volk. He was a murderer, Clark. Murderer? Why would they let somebody like that stay here? Because it happened 60 years ago when he was 17. I guess they figured he's just a harmless old man who moved back to his hometown to die. Back in the 40s, he was studying to be a concert pianist. He was up for a full scholarship, 
at Metropolis Conservatory, but his teacher recommended somebody else. So he killed his teacher? No. He said the teacher killed his dream, so he killed the teacher's dream. The man's son. Evening. Um, sorry about the trouble, sir, but I got a call that there's a gas leak, and I just want to make sure there's no leakage within the home. Well, yeah, come on in. Ooh. Oh, you have a little bit of home. Thank you. <laughs> Is there anybody else home? Nah, I'm divorced. Oh, uh, I'm uh, sorry to hear about that. Oh, I saw that the account was under a uh, Jim Gage. Any relation to a uh, Randolph Gage? I'd say so. He was my father. Mm. Passed back in 93. Yeah, I think I remember reading his obituary. It said he opened the first ever car dealership in Smallville. 1935. Uh -huh. You got a good memory. <laughs> Thanks. I've uh, had a lot of time to kill. Are you going to say hello or not, Mr. Kent? How do you do that? When one sense goes, the others get heightened. I must admit, after yesterday, I didn't think I'd ever see you again. After what you said, I... Honestly, I can't get it out of my head. Imagine how I feel. When it first started happening, I, I thought it was a, a curse. I kept seeing snapshots of things that I couldn't control. When did it start? When I first lost my sight. It's funny, that morning started out like any other, and then the meteors came. Well, one hit in the field behind my house, and the flash burned my optic nerves. I'm sorry. Oh, it, it's not your fault. It's amazing how one moment can change your life forever. My friends and well, my family, too, they, they think you're... Uh... A fraud? <laughs> well, people are afraid of the unknown, Mr. Kent. People only want to know if, if they think everything's going to be all right, and I can't guarantee that. What I can do is show you signposts along your journey, but what you choose to do with those is up to you. Yeah, I've got so many questions, I just want some answers. Here, take my hand. No, I think she's had enough weirdness for the day. What do you got? Guy was found dead in his house. He was blindfolded and strangled with a piano wire. Which is the same signature Harry Volk used way back when. Sounds like we got a copycat. Copycat of a murder that happened 60 years ago, two days after the original killer happened to disappear? I don't think so. <laughs> Meow. He's in a wheelchair, Chloe. Not exactly prime condition to go on a killing spree. Okay, fine. Where do you think we should start? <laughs> well... Somebody's following in Harry's footsteps. Maybe they send in some fan mail. You left in quite a hurry last time. I hoped you'd come back. I'm sorry you had to see that. Whatever it was. I always see them. The question is, how did you? I don't know. What, wasn't I supposed to? Nobody ever has. Why me? We both know you're not like other people. Sure I am. Yeah. No, no, Clark. I've, I've seen you before we met. 
more than once I've, I've touched people and I've seen such pain and despair. But then you were there and the pain was gone. I think that's your destiny, Clark, to help people, to save them from fear and, and darkness. How? That's up to you to figure out. You either fear the future or you, you embrace it. The choice is yours. Who are they? People who need your help. How am I supposed to help them if I don't know who they are? I'm not a radio. I, I don't get continuous transmissions. That's all I have. I'll do my best. Thank you. See you later. Clark, your secret's safe with me. I know. We close at nine, Mozart. Mm hmm? You want to settle up? Can I just get one more coffee? Don't you have somewhere to go? Oh, come on. You can clean up to the sounds of some Chopin. I guess. Did you guys find anything yet? No fan mail. Just a bunch of old newspaper clippings from the Smallville ledger. This guy's been obsessed with Smallville for over 50 years. Is something wrong? Doesn't she work at the coffee parlor? Zoe Garfield? Well, yeah, but does it matter? I gotta go. He always does that. Well, thanks for the company. But unless you're sleeping here, which you're not, I'm headed out. What's this? What, they don't teach Greek in schools anymore? It's Euripides. The sins of the father are visited on the children. So you listen to Beethoven and you speak Greek. Real cute. What's that got to do with me? Ashley Zoe Garfield, quite a bit. So your grandmother, Eve Garfield, she died last year, right? I was destined for big cities and grand music halls. And your grandmother killed that future for me. And now, I'm gonna kill yours. No! <laughs> I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you. Try me. She's not asking any questions. Is that kid in jail? No, he's in the hospital overnight for observation. Does I know why you wanted to kill her? No. She's just grateful you happened to come along. Is that what she told the police? I figured they wouldn't want to hear I got a vision from an old blind lady. I'm going to show what I think about Cassandra. Mom, she's my friend. She told me my destiny was to help people. You think she uh, knows your secret? I don't think you should see her anymore. Dad, if I had not seen her, Zoe would be dead. Look, your destiny may be to protect people, but our destiny is to protect you. And that has got to come first, okay? The police questioned Harry all night. He said he was kidnapped by this kid who was obsessed with his old case. So somehow in broad daylight, this kid snuck out of handcuffs, smuggled Terry inside, and chained him to a bed. That's the official story. Maybe official, but it doesn't make any sense. You could always just add it to the Smallville wall of weird. Is everything okay? Not really. I think I'm gonna go inside and talk to Harry. 
Found a picture of Zoe Garfield in the box under your bed. And who are you? Clark Kent, we've already met. How dare you go through my belongings? How do you explain the pictures? Why do I need to explain? You know, Harry, I think you and this kid are the same person. And I think you've got a very active imagination. I don't know how you did it, but I know it's you. You say your name is Kent? Grandfather Hiram, Father Jonathan? Funny, I don't remember you on the family tree. I'll be watching you. <laughs> this is everything I could find on Harry Volk. The ledger carries stories on the trial, the murder, the investigation, you name it. Is anybody watching this guy? Lana's got an eye on him. I heard that. In Zoe Garfield's statement to the police, she said that Harry accused her grandmother of killing his future. Harry's gone. They found his wheelchair out by the koi pond half an hour ago. I saw a meteor rock in that pond. At least now we know how he's doing the time warp. What do you mean? I'll explain later. We gotta find out who he's gonna kill next. Clark, take a look at this. It's a list of the jurors that worked on Harry's trial. What is it? He's killing the descendants of the jurors who convicted him. Look at juror number 11. Hero Kent. Wasn't that your grandfather? Oh my god. Harry's gonna kill my dad. May I help you? Yeah, I got a call about a gas leak. Do you mind if I come in? Uh, gas leak? I don't smell any gas. Your husband called about it earlier. Is, uh, he around? Uh, he'll be back shortly. Where's our regular gas man, Kurt? Vacation. Mm, right. Um, will you excuse me a minute? Of course. <sighs> Kurt isn't your regular gas man, is he, Mrs. Kent? What do you want? Just to kill your husband. What did Jonathan ever do to you? Nothing. But his father did. Mrs. K, where are you? I can hear you. I'm gonna find you. You know, funny thing, Mrs. Kent, your son has me all figured out. He's a smart boy. He probably gets it from his mom. Where is your son, Mrs. Kent? I can hear you breathing. Mrs. Kent? Let's be in Clark, but I finally figured it out. Yeah. What's that? Meteorite. It's pretty common to find in Smallville. I really hate to see your powers go to shit. Yeah, me too. Do it, can you? <laughs> 
Gotcha, bitch. And that's what happened. He turned himself in? I'm just as surprised as you are. Ow. Well, thanks for keeping me in the loop. Yeah, no problem. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Good night, Clark.